Okay, today's lecture, we're going to talk about right triangles. First thing we wanted to talk about when we're talking about right triangle, it's called Pythagorean Theorems. So Pythagorean Theorem only work when you have right triangle and your C have to be hypotenuse. So across from the C side have to be right angle. Right angle, 90 degree will be the biggest angle. So cross from the C will be the biggest angle. And A and B can be any of these two sides. Um, then when we have A squared plus B squared, that will be equals to C squared. We call this is Pythagorean theorems. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we wanted to see if we can solve some uh, right triangle problems. The first one we're going to look at it is the right triangle ABC with the right angle at C. If AC is equal to 5 and BC is equal to 12, we wanted to find out what AB is equal to. Remember, when we're dealing with the geometry figure, I like to draw the picture first so that we know what we're looking at it, right? So let me draw the right triangle. And it say the right angle at C. So this is going to be C and right angle. So cross from right angle is going to be hypotenuse C, right? size C. And then you can put A, B anywhere. So let's put A here. It means you have size A there. This is going to be B. That means this is going to be side B right there. And what other information is given? It say A, C is equals to 5. So A and C, side A and C is going to be the length of B. That's going to be equals to 5. And side BC, BC, which is uh, A, is going to be 12. They want you to find out what C is going to be, which C is going to be, which is AB, right? So AB is equals to C. And if we wanted to find out that C, we will replace it into the formula of C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. And we know that A squared is going to be 12 squared. B is going to be 5, so it will be 5 squared. We know 12 squared is 144. 5 squared is 25. That's going to be equals to C squared. When you're adding those two number, it's going to be 169. That's going to be C squared. In order to find out C, in order to get rid of square, you're going to use the square roots. So when you're using square roots, both sides, don't forget to put plus minus sign, which square root cancel out the square you end up having just C itself. And square root of 169 is equal to 13. But because C is the length, because the length measurement we're talking about, we cannot use the negative 13 because when you're talking about distance, this distance cannot be negative, right? So your C is going to be 13. Example two, this time we wanted to find B. Let's let's make sure this is C and our, uh, six, and um, our B is going to be this one right here, B, right? That's unknown. So first thing we need to remember, this is going to be right triangle. Then we're going to have uh, formula written, which is the Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals to a squared plus b squared. And we have this times c is given the length of a, b, which is hypotenuse is given. So it will be 10 squared. And a is 6, right? 
A is a uh, length of BC, so that's going to be 6 squared. And plus B is the one that we don't know. So the other problem, the problem before we were looking at it, we had unknown of high path venue, but this time your unknown is on one of the side, right? In that case, you need to make sure you need to isolate the B first, and you end up doing a subtraction this time. So when we figure this one out first, that's 100, that will be 36 plus B squared. In order to solve B, you need to subtract both sides by 36. So 36 subtract 36, you get that will be 4. Uh, that will be 64, and that's equals to b squared. And when you square root both sides, you get plus minus square root of 64. And that will be b. And we know that square root of 64 is equals to 8. Again, because we're talking about the distance, we cannot use negative and your solution will be just positive 8. Example 3, we're going to talk about word problem this time. So it's a jet travel 7.50 kilometer while um, gaining at to at a um, constant rate. If it travels between horizontal point 5.80 km apart, what is its gain in attitude? So the attitude comes from the height. As you can see in a picture, your height is going to be right here. And this two value is given. So again, we should be able to use the um, formulas. C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. The C squared have to be always a hypotenuse, which is cross from the 90 degree. So it's going to be 7.50. And your A will be one of the side and B will be the other side. So you could use any of them as X. So if I use A as X, then your B is going to be 5.80 square. And when you're trying to solve for X, you have to do 7.50 square minus 5.80 square equals to X square. And when you square 7.5, you get 56.25. And then 5.80 square, you get 33.64 equal x square. When you subtract those two numbers, you get 22.61. And then you square root both sides to get rid of square you know that you're going to only use the positive because we're talking about distance again. And your x unknown, which is going to be height, right? Attitudes of the plane is going to be positive 4.75 kilometers.